Hey there everybody out in uh, YouTube world. Looks like we got another project here. Uh, hauled this home uh, about two hours. It's a uh, 92 Chevy, four wheel drive, V8, five speed, short box, step side. Um, gave 300 bucks for it. Guy said it was a little rough around the edges. Well, it looks like Duff came back inside. He's gonna catch up to me shortly. There he is. Hey, bud. So, uh, yeah, I guess here it is. Uh, the box is pretty thrashed. I'm not a big step side fan, so we might have to do something about that. One of the aluminum sweet directional wheels was also missing as well. So, uh, we gotta <clears throat> find some different wheels, but you know, not too bad. It's kind of neat being a V8 five speed short bed. I uh, did have a grill guard and a couple of busted out fog lights on it. I already took those off. Uh, I did straighten out the rear bumper a little bit. That was pretty wanged up. It's an uh, aftermarket bumper, nothing special. I think the uh, aluminum running board's got to go. Uh, seat on this side isn't too bad, but the other side, I guess his dog got a hold of it. You can see dogs really love it, don't you, Duff? Uh, dash's got a couple of cracks in it. Windshield's busted, mirror's busted. Uh, radio doesn't work. Headliner's pretty disgusting. It's got some interesting smells in it, but um, as far as rust on the cab, that's really all that's there. A little bit on the rocker in the cab corner. Uh, door hinge pins are a little bit soft. Uh, those mirrors are hideous. It was a white pickup at one time and they painted it tan. Every panel's got that on. I thought maybe it was wrecked, but you can see that the cab was white, the firewall was white, the bed was white, all the fenders were white as well. Tires are shot. Uh, this fender isn't too bad for rust, but it got buggered up there. Uh, he did use it for towing behind his farm implements, so he had a, some tow hooks on it, or a tow bar that hooked up to those. And he had wires running all the way through it so he could hook up the lights on the back and pull another implement behind it and have flashing lights. But this is the best part right here. Look at these stick-on scoops. With flames, yeah, those definitely got to go. But, of course, they put those on before they painted it. So, yeah, kind of stuck with them. And this hood is... It had a visor on or a bug deflector on it. took that off. The hood's got a little bit of a tweak to it as well. Uh, TBI... 350 doesn't run too bad uh, the muffler is blown out tailpipes all bent up so there's a little exhaust leak on this side so uh, she does need some work but sounds good 207,000 miles on it it's got that sweet Powerade uh, throttle body spacer that's got to be good for like at least another eight horsepower uh, you can see this fender is real chewy um, I did a little work on the door pins on this side already kind of got those you know, fixed up a little bit but yeah this bedside isn't as bad but she's still pretty bad and like i said i'm just not a fan of the step side so i'm gonna have to do something there it's got uh, rear ac yeah that's handy duff already wants to keep it <clears throat> got tilt wheel uh it's got the I don't know, updated gauges, I guess you call it. Not the early ones, but it's got the thin line that wraps around. But yeah, so she needs a little work. Haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do with it. But yeah, you can see the cab corner on this side's really solid. Uh, rocker as well. The carpet is just disgusting. This guy was a farmer rancher, so it's pretty used up. It's got some interesting smells and whatnot to it. But yeah, um, as far as the bones go, she seems like she's is pretty good so we'll see where we go from here right Duff this is uh, Duff and Mortsky signing off saying it doesn't matter how you get it done so long as everybody's having fun thanks for watching guys click the like subscribe all that good stuff ring the bell have a good day